guys welcome back to my channel today as promised i am doing a tutorial for the three by six um accordion mini album which looks like this it gives you a lot of pages to decorate and scrapbook and this is in commemoration of national scrapbook day 2021 which is may 1st and that's going to be coming up very soon and so this is what we're going to be creating today i've made this one during a live with rachel and this one has like a cord and it's exactly the same concept it's just how you are what create what collection you're using determines how it looks like but it's exactly the same thing and this one is a super super old collection from october afternoon but still something that we can use i don't have paper from the collection other than stickers so i just use plain cardstock um prototype paper so but still it looks good and it's so easy to make let's get started so the first thing you're going to need you're going to need three sheets of 12 by 12 and that will be creating your accordion i'm going to be showing you how to create one and then i'm going to multiply them to three and then we're going to make the outer cover okay so let's start with that let's start with the inside okay so this one is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper super easy all you need to do is score it at three inches score it at six score it at nine turn it and score it at six inches and you're going to repeat this exact process for all of the three accordions that you're going to be doing so do this exact same thing as what i'm doing accordion fold it and burnish it very well you want sharp corners right there and then you you burnish it at the six inch mark okay after you burnish that you're going to cut you're going to use your scissors and you're going to cut from here up to this score mark right there and you're you're going to see that you, it's look it looks like you're creating some pants okay and you're going to do exactly what i'm doing for all three of the 12 by 12 that you have because one accordion mini album you need three so you fold you follow the accordion fold that you did same exact thing follow the folds right there this cross it and then follow the accordion fold that you already have existing so super easy that's it okay let's do that again super quick here's your pants follow the accordion fold that you already have existing right there cross that and follow it again super super easy so you can decorate this if you want to you're going to create three of this so after you create three of this now you're going to get a cover so for the cover you're going to need a 12 by 6 and a quarter sheet of paper so this is what we have this is a 12 by 6 and 1 fourth okay and then you're going to score this at the 12 inch mark you're going to score it at two inches i'm going to score this really well because the paper is very thick and two inches five and a quarter six inches nine and a quarter and then ten inches okay after you score that you burnish that so let's start with this one so burnish every score mark you want it to be sharp especially like i'm using very thick 100 110 pound cardstock from basil this is super sturdy very very well constructed this is what you want and if you have a flimsy paper i suggest you layer it and you put like a decorative piece so this is what we have so far this one you're going to fold and this becomes a pocket and then this one is what it looks like so right there right there and like that so that is the construction of your um, album so let me create the other signatures give me a sec so now that we have all three of this um, what I suggest is either you glue them or you use 
um, double-sided tape. It is up to you, whatever resources that you have. I have used double-sided tape. Um, and if you use glue also, you can still create pockets. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to use double-sided tape because I'm going to be attaching this to this. Um, okay, right there. I just like them all to be looking like books. So I'm going to put adhesive here. So if you put adhesive here in the back, the opening will be here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to do that for both. You're going to do it two times because you're attaching three books together. I'm going to do this on real time so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, another option for you, if you don't want to create a pocket, you can just glue this. You can just seal it up and close it if you want to. But there has to be a way for you to connect all three books together. So this is what my book looks like. So I'm just attaching it right here to the sister. Right there. So now they're they're now attached together and now they created a pocket. And so do that for the exact same thing right here. Again, you can use, you can choose to use um, glue. You can close it. You don't have to create a pocket. You can create a pocket in the back if you want to. I just want it to be consistent for demonstration purposes. But obviously you can make it as fancy as you like. Okay, so I am out of double-sided tape. So that's that. And you just attach it together. Okay, right there. Make sure that the cover, the outside cover is there. And then you approximate it. You know, try to have them be symmetrical as much as as much as possible. Here, let me see. I would love it to be symmetrical. That will be the goal. Okay. So it looks like that's symmetrical. Let me get a punch, a circle punch, so we can see where the um where the pockets are. It's easier to do that. Um so the pockets would be this one. So I'm going to punch there. Oops. And then another pocket is right here, which connects both colors. So I'm going to punch right there. Whew, like a celebration. And then, so you can, you're going to notice that these flip-ups, I didn't glue that. You can choose to glue that if you want to. If you want to create more pockets, it's up to you. I like the interactive way of doing all that. So that's fine. That's fine with me. I like I like that. And then the next portion is you're going to glue here. You're, I'm going to use double-sided tape again to just glue it. Um, in the previous ones that I created, I stitched it up. So since, for purposes of demonstration, I am not going to stitch this one. And I'm going to seal it up because that would be additional reinforcement for your book. If you decide to like stitch the cover, that will make it really, really sturdy. But I am using really good cardstock for the cover. Okay. So now this is done. So an option for you, if you want, is you can put this inside or... Wait, I don't think it glued very well. Okay. What I'm doing is, you. what option you can do is you can glue this, this itself, onto here. Just like that. If you're going to do that, I suggest you use liquid glue. So that it gives you time to kind of fiddle with it. Kind of wiggle it. Because if you use double-sided tape, there's no leeway for mistakes, as well as the glue gun. So you want that more closer to this side, simply because we're going to put the closure right here. So it has to be kind of middle, but closer towards the right side. See? Versus this one, there's still, there's still a little bit of a gap. And then... We just get that okay so now this is done this is technically this is it this is how you create it and then what you need to do is you need to put 
I need to put a hole right here. Obviously, if you're going to decorate it, you have to decorate it first before you put a hole. But again, for purposes of demonstration, we're just going to do that. And then you get your elastic cord. Right? Your elastic cord. You, you then do this. You just, I just tie it, no big deal. I just tie it like a regular style for travels notebook. Um, because you have maybe a quarter of an inch leeway there, it this will accommodate it. So tie it, tie it really well. And then if you want to, you can double it up. Or you can cut this one. It's up to you. This one is a good looking savvy thing for me. So just approximate it and see how you want it closed. And then you can put more decorative pieces in there. You can put tassels and everything. You can put dangles. Like look what we did in here. We created this one with like a button. And then some charms. And then this one, you, I punched a hole and then I put a charm in there. So you can make it as fancy as you want. This is just your basic, super basic construction. It's not even decorated. But these are the ones that are decorated for you. So you can, I just put a sticker and then I remove the adhes adhesive on this part. And then I started decorating it using some flips. And then you, this is ready for photos. This is absolutely ready. I love that you can decorate it like this one and kind of mimic a traveler's notebook. I love, love, love that. Um, this is also a pocket. If you have some like ticket stubs or boarding pass for your trip, so, so easy. And these are like pockets that you can put stuff inside, more pockets. So these are some things that you can use. Um, you can put a pocket right there. You see? Um, so whatever you like to do this one, again, I didn't put, I didn't put any because I like the interactive portion of it. Um, let me show you something that I've already decorated and this, um, this three by six mini album is about homeschooling in 2020 with my children. And so, you know, this has, this is un unprecedented times. I have plans of putting like a punch here so I can put a closure, but this is what it looks like. I just use, I think, a Joanne's collection, put photos of the kids, sentiments, some journaling. It's not done yet, but it has some memories of, like, the babies going to school at home. And it's very difficult, not just for the children, but for the parents also. So I suggest that, you know, take the time to document them because you're going to forget. And since it's National Scrapbook Day 2021... This is why I'm creating this tutorial so that you, to encourage you to create a scrapbook about how, what you're doing, what is important to you and your family right now. We also did some barber shop action here at home. My husband gave my son haircuts because we can't go out. Um, some more pages. This is so cute. I thought this was a touching moment um, because we all stayed home together. I think it bonded us so much closer. Anyway, so that was that. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to put everything in the description box below for you. And again, it's super, super easy. All you need is four sheets of 12 by 12. And you're going to have a, a, th a three by six accordion mini album in no time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful crafty day. This is Christian signing off. Bye, guys. That's done.